Hello folks and welcome to GED Microlearning. My name is Dr. MCR and this is GED Math Test 5. The first question today requires you know a little bit about reading bar graphs and this is a question that also will ask you about ratios. So before um, we answer the question, let's remind ourselves how to read a bar graph. So the first thing that you should do is to look at your title because this is going to tell you what this information that they're depicting is. So here it's telling you that uh, these bars represent the number of moving trucks requested. The next thing you should do is look at your legend, you, which you can find here on the left. Sometimes it's to the right. So what the legend is telling you is what each of these bars represent. So the blue bars represents 15 feet trucks. The green bars represent 23 feet trucks. Next, look at your x-axis and what the information that they're giving you here is the number of trucks requested in April, May, June, and July. And then finally, look at your y-axis. And this is telling you the number of trucks that have been requested. And you can see that it goes up by increments of 10. If we go back to the question, the question said, in April, what was the ratio of 15 feet trucks to 23 feet moving trucks requested? If you look at these two bar graphs, at these two bars, you can see that the bar for 15 feet trucks goes up to 20 and the bar for 23 feet trucks goes up to 50. So the ratio would be 20 trucks to 50 trucks. And if you reduce that, you simplify it, it would be two to five. Okay, so answer B. Question two, this is a question about probability. Here it's telling you that there are uh, four M&M colors in a bag, four are black, six are green, one is red, one is yellow. If the red and yellow M&Ms are removed, what is the probability that the next M&M selected is green? So this is the situation that you have, okay? Four different colors, and then they said that they're gonna remove the green and the red. So this is what it looks like. And that leaves you with 10 M&Ms in the bag, and they want to know what's the probability of picking a green one. So we know that there are six green M&Ms in the bag, and there's a total of 10 M&Ms in the bag. So the probability of picking a green one would be six over 10 or 60%. And the black ones, we know that there's four black M&Ms and there's 10 total M&Ms in the bag. So the possibility, probability would be 40. Question three. So as you know, in the GED, there's a lot of questions that allow you to lose your calculator, but some do not. So you also have to be prepared for that and do a little bit of work. So here they're asking you to solve a division problem of minus 40 divided by eight. And the answer would be minus five. Okay, so I do recommend that you sort of practice a few division problems and multiplication problems just to, um, you know, be able to do them quickly. Question four. So question four is asking you to find the value of this expression. And what this expression, solving for this expression is gonna require you to, uh, follow the rules of order of operations. So let's switch gears for a second and remind ourselves of this. So as you know, um, when you do math problems, you have to follow a specific sequence or order. And this is the order that you follow. It's called PEMDAS. It starts with parentheses, then you do exponents, and then you do multiplication division. You can do this um, in any order. So you could do division first and multiplication second or the other way around. Then you do addition and then you do subtraction and you can also do it in the opposite direction, right? You could do subtraction first or addition, addition second. If you want more practice with these type, types of problems, I have a video uh, which is specific on order of operations and there are several uh, problems you can do there. So I'll leave a dis, uh, link in the description. All right, so if we go back to our problem, first thing that we have to do are parentheses, right? So we have to find out what 37 minus 13 is, and we also have to find out what eight minus four is. So we solve the first parenthesis, it gives us 24, and then the second parenthesis gives us four. 
Okay, second thing on uh, order of operations was exponents. We don't have any. And then multiplication, right? So we're going to multiply that 3 times 4 inside the parentheses. That gives us 12. And then uh, after the M of PEMDAS comes division. So we're going to divide that 24 by that 12, which gives us 2. And uh, now that we've finished our parentheses, we can look at the other part of the equation, okay, outside the parentheses. So as we said, we've done PEMDAS already, uh, excuse me, we've done the P of PEMDAS, parentheses, we don't have exponents, so we go to M multiplication, which would be 5 times 2, so you end up with 22 plus 10, which is equal to 32. Okay, again, if you need more help with these sort of problems, make sure to check out the order of operations video. And finally, question 5. This is a question that looks at um, sort of mean, median, and, and mode, which are part of the statistics part of the GED. So it asks you for a median value of all of these dollar values. So remember that the median is the middle number. So the way that you answer this is that you put all your dollar values in order from the smallest to the largest. And we said that the median number is the middle number. Okay, so in this case, 1,578. Okay, folks, I hope you found that useful. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And as always, thank you so much for your time and thanks for watching. Have a great day.